Hi there. Today, I'm excited to share with you an ultra comfort food dish that you wouldn't believe can be good for you too. I'm making bacon, mushroom, mac and cheese. Let me show you how it's done. First up is cooking the pasta. You'll need six ounces of uncooked whole wheat corkscrew pasta, which is about a third of a box of pasta. Now you could use just about any shape you'd like, elbows, penne, bow ties, as long as you choose the whole wheat version. I'll just cook that according to package directions, omitting any oil, butter, or salt. When it's done cooking, before draining the pasta, be sure to save a quarter cup of the pasta water as we'll be using that later. So continuing on, here I have three slices of turkey bacon that I cooked in a microwave according to package directions. And I'm just going to dice that now. Bacon has a lot of fat and sodium. Turkey bacon has a bit less fat, but I still use it sparingly. A little goes a long way in flavor. Okay, now I'm going to saute my veggies for the mac and cheese. I have a medium sized pot with two teaspoons of extra virgin olive oil over medium low heat. I'm going to add half of a medium yellow onion that I already diced. You could use white, red, or sweet if you prefer. And two minced garlic cloves. Now I just stir that and I saute it until the onions are soft, but not yet brown. That will take about three minutes or so. My onions have softened, and now I'm adding in two cups of sliced white mushrooms. These are also called button mushrooms. You could also use portobello or cremini, though the white mushrooms tend to be least expensive. And now, one tablespoon of Italian blend of dried herbs. And a half teaspoon of black pepper. I'll give that a stir and cook them for two minutes. Then I'll add three tablespoons of water. and we'll cook that for another two minutes. I'm also going to preheat the oven now to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, the mushrooms have cooked down and I'm going to leave them on the heat as I mix in the rest of the mac and cheese ingredients shortly. Now I'm going to make our cheese sauce. In this bowl, I'm mixing together one cup of fat-free plain Greek yogurt. Three tablespoons of grated low-fat Parmesan cheese. and one cup of shredded low moisture part skim mozzarella cheese. I'll give this a stir. Okay, let's get our mac and cheese assembled. Back to our mushroom pot, I'm adding in the cheese mixture. The quarter cup reserved pasta water. The cooked pasta. and the diced bacon.
Now, I'll take this off the burner and mix everything together. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pour this into an oven safe 8 by 8 inch baking dish. One last thing before getting it into the oven, the bread crumb topping. Here I have mixed together three tablespoons of whole wheat panko bread crumbs. They are a Japanese crumb. And basically it's a salad bread crumb that gives some extra crunch to toppings. But if you can't find them, just use regular whole wheat bread crumbs. One tablespoon of salt-free Italian blend dried herbs. and one teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil. And we're going to mix that up. Okay, and we'll just sprinkle it over the top of the mac and cheese. And now it's ready for the oven. I'll let this bake for about 10 minutes just to heat everything up. So here's the finished bacon mushroom mac and cheese, and I wish you could smell how amazing this is.